But I'm sitting down in class, but I gotta own some shit. I need to own my heritage. I need to own the fact that Charlie, uh, Charlie Parker's birds seduced Jim Crow's birds to sing sweet water to, to, to sing to drink sweet water from Ida B. Wells Wells, which is on the cover of the book, and to do it at Burbank. I need to be able to tell you that Jackie Robinson had the strength of Sisyphus. I need to be able to put that into some kind of form. I need to be able to take within the episode, within the notion of the Grail song that has the the, the, the the notion of the epic, that two black guys defeated Hitler in nineteen thirty six. Jesse Owens and Madcap. Madcap. Beat him. Yeah. Beat that whole beat him. That's prescience. That is that is so full of richness that it needs to be put you know, down in in some kind of form that gives it layers. It the poetics is made, was made to be heard, to be spoken. It is music. In this day, we've gotten away from the music. We have gone to the intellectual and the existential, and we've gone to something else, but we get away from the music. That's exactly what I was thinking as you've been, as you've been I would say, performing this. It's one thing to look at a score, it's another, it's another thing to hear the music played. Did uh, you come meet it? Did you see it? Right. But yeah. looking at a Looking at a Beethoven sonata isn't quite the same as hearing. Um, and name them. Any of them playing. Right. Oh, hearing Charlie Parker with right. notations right. on a piece of paper right. is not the same right. as hearing Duke Ellington's. Right. Uh, uh, and they, you can say, well, they're all there. Right. And, but you've got to take the A train. And when you take the A train, you've right. got to get naked. You, that you, it's to be heard. Right. Right? So uh, I'm trying to when she when she, when and this is not a knock, but but this is about pro, the poetics. It is one thing to be able to uh, know the rules of enjambment and uh, end stops and all of that and synesthesia, all of that stuff that you don't get on 125th Street. Right. It's one thing to do that. It's another thing to take that which you get from 125th Street and bring it back and set it down in this kind of environment, give it an opportunity and to present it. If you say it comes out and this is not a, 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 as a performance, no it doesn't, it's not a performance, it becomes that my ancestors embrace me and I speak from something deeper and fuller about my humanity. When I talk to you, when I say it's the clickety clack clack, it's it, it's the train. It's carrying Moses, and Moses is just a conducting and just a calling. Freedom, free, all aboard, all aboard. I'm here, I'm here. Hear me, come. There, there, there's room. There's room. Freedom. I'm talking about Harry Tubman. I'm talking about coming down the mountain. I'm talking about moving to greener grass where freedom is where the notion of freedom is. How the hell am I going to do that on a piece of paper without giving you the feeling that I am part of this, this movement? I am part, this is more than just being protein. This is more than just being some words on a piece of paper. This is the voice of ancestors. This is the voice I would love to be able to capture what happened at Al Smith or Dachau or any of them? There's music. And, it's the, and sometimes the music is dissonance, but it's the music of horror. But, it, but for me, it is a chance to celebrate and to bring forth that I is here. Does that make any sense to you? Not only does it make sense, it reminds me that, you know, before there was print, there were only words. Hello? Words come out of the body. How long did it take you to do this? I'm almost 80 years. It has taken from the beginning of the African-American experience in this country 
1995 to begin to sing the song of our episodic experience here. I become the vessel, so I am ill-equipped to do the work. And what I do is that I go to Fairfield University, and I meet up with the, my teach, who is Professor Kim Bridgeford, and I start harping. I started complaining about the, why should I learn the Odyssey? Why should I learn Gilgamesh? Why should I learn Beowulf? I mean, I learned them. These, I mean, Chaucer, you would praise Chaucer, and he only went 30 miles. He went from London to Canterbury. Hell, I learned them, and she said, now she says, what do you mean? I said, well, as African Americans, we had no epic. She says, and I said, uh, I said that. And she says, why don't you write one? The beginning. The, be the beginning comes with the awareness. First, I had to get to understand what kind of enslavement I'm in as a people. Then I had to understand something about the survival methods. Then I had to go through a whole lot of shit in order to get to 1865, right? In 1865, we get the notion that you're free. Use free, use free. Free to do what? I'm going down the dirt road. I haven't, my, that stuff that I've mastered won't do me very well, but I need some heroes. I need somebody that will go and kill the giant, right? I need, I, I need somebody like Beowulf to take care of Grendel. I need somebody like Gilgamesh to take care, I need, I need him. But I also need, as a people, some her heroes. I need to be able to cre create something that has some notion of literacy. I need to be able to sing the song. I need to be able to master a semicolon and a colon. I need to be able to know what a semicolon says to a colon, and a colon says to a comma, and a comma says to an ellipse or whatever. I need to know that, and I need to know that we got some stories. We have some episodic stories in it, and I need to be able to do that. And I need to be able to sit in the classroom with your Greek or Roman or your Italian or if you're Chinese. If you're, you've got your heroes. Where, where are my heroes? To do it, I put some stuff down in the paper. It took me, I wrote, it's all written in longhand. I started writing it in 1995. And I surrendered it in uh, 2008, okay. and it came out in 2009. Um, uh, if you look at this, this body of work, uh, there are illustrations in here by Roman Bearden of, of, of the giants of, of, of our African American experience. Did the writing, as it proceeded, did it tend to all develop out of when you were when you were talking about the initial parts, the hearing of the listening. What do I hear? Uh, our Father bless this moment and allow us to share and to understand and to do the kind of work that colors the moment for our ancestors. And Father please let me hear their voices, their songs, their glory, their when I would like to inhale the essence, let this moment be a moment that I can carry into the next moment with a closer notion of who I am, what I am, and why I am. This begins to tell that which floats, that floats, flows through me, and I get a chance to put it down, to really put it down.